A while back, I took a trip to my favorite rock bar along the Colorado River. This is east of Austin. I was looking for something to take back to the shop and play with. What could I find today? This place has all kinds of good stuff. It has fossils and agates and petrified wood, but you know what I thought? What about a nice piece of banded shirt? Maybe I can find something really interesting. This piece looked kind of interesting. I thought, let's take this back to the shop. I'll bet we can do something with it. Okay, let's take a closer look at our piece of banded shirt that we found. What do you think? Yeah, it's got a nice pattern on there. Now, once I polish this surface, this face, I don't know how contrasty this is going to be. Right now, you can see quite a bit of contrast between the dark and the light. But in my experience, it's hard to tell what it's going to look like once we get this polished. All I'm going to do is take it into the shop and just face polish this right here. Not touch anything else on the rock. Everything else will stay as is. Then it'll rest nicely like this with a hopefully a beautiful polished face. So come with me into the shop and let's see how this thing shines up once we get it nice and smooth. As usual, we start with the, the 80 grit hard diamond wheel for the basic shape. After probably 30 minutes, it got to this point. From there, we take it to the 220 grit wheel to clean it up a little bit. Here's how it looks now after 220 grit. From there, we go to the 280 grit, the soft wheel. Now it's starting to look good, even beginning to get a little bit of a shine. That's a really good sign. Next, we go to the 600 grit wheel. Now the shine's really starting to come out. What do you think? You can see the shop lights. All right, the 1200 grit wheel is next. This is usually where we see a really good polish. Look at that. The lights are dancing around, looking good. Next up is the 3000 grit wheel. This should almost have a wet look now. Look at that. Remember, this is completely dry. From here, I think we'll go to the cerium pad. So this pad's been sprayed with the water cerium mixture. We hit this for a couple of minutes. There you go. Now that's the final polish. What do you think? Has that mirror-like polish. I love that. Look how you can hopefully see my hand waving at you. Okay, now that it's done in the shop, let's take it inside for a closer look. Our banded shirt face polish is finished. What do you think? Check it out. I think it turned out pretty nice. We did lose some of the contrast, but I think we gained some some stuff as well. I like this little area right here. I wasn't expecting that. That's cool. This looks good through here. The polish is nice. It's not perfect, but it looks pretty good. What do you think? Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check my other videos for more like this. Thanks again.